Could this Yes Welder TIG 250P ACDC be the best TIG welder machine for the money? Hello everyone, welcome back. Bruce here with DIY Homestead Projects. Today we're going to be looking at a Yes Welder machine that was sent to me by Yes Welder. They contacted me and asked me if I'd like to uh, receive one of these machines. I did set up an affiliate account with Yes Welder and I have a 10% off coupon code. So if you're interested in anything that's for sale on the Yes Welder website or their products, you can use my code. I'll leave it on the bottom of the screen here and then I'll also put it down in the description. If you use the code, you'll get 10% off of whatever it is that you purchase. This is the Yes Welder TIG. 250p AC DC. It runs on 220 volts only, so you do need to have 240 volt outlet. Yes Welder does have a three year warranty on this machine and 24 hours, seven days a week support. I asked them specifically in an email about the warranty and they said that they pay for shipping both ways. So that's a pretty good warranty. The Yes Welder TIG 250p has pulse, high frequency start, and it is also a stick welder. And for those who are curious, the width, just under eight inches, 16 inches in length. And to the top of the handle is about 14 inches, about 12 inches to the top of the plastic here. 35 pounds, pretty light. It comes with a WP26 torch this torch has a 13 foot lead and the torch is one of the uh, European style torches with a built in trigger. So you can either use a foot pedal or plug the lead in that's on the torch into the machine and use the trigger button. It does also come with a foot pedal. I've never used a pedal like this before, but I mean, it looks like it'll do the job and it has a five pin connector. It has an electrode holder with a 10 foot lead with the DINS 50 connector on it. And it looks to be pretty much uh, on par with, with uh, other machines out there in the same price range. It also has a ground clamp with a 10 foot lead and a DINS 50 connector. And it's a little bit smaller than some that I've seen and it's made out of pretty thin material, but it looks like it'll do the, do the job. It has a, a pretty strong clamp force to it. And it also has that copper strap inside. It also comes with a torch accessory kit and it has three cups in there. Four, five, and a six cup, I believe. One sixteenth, three thirty seconds, and one eighth collets and a uh, collet body, as well as a short cap and then your standard long cap. Actually, right now they're doing an end of year special where you can get 15% off anything on their website. I'll leave the link to the website down in, in the description. You can get 15% off using YesWelder15 as the code off of anything on their site. So right now, this machine, if you were to purchase it off of YesWelder, it would cost you $638. I think that's what that comes out to be. That is a smoking good deal for a machine with the capabilities that this machine has. I do not work for Yes Welder and this is not a paid promotion, but they did send me this machine for me to review. Thanks to Yes Welder for sending out the machine. This machine has a, uh, a fan that comes on and goes off depending on the temperature. It does not run continuously and it's actually pretty darn quiet. Let me get it set up and we'll have a look at it.
We're gonna set this up for some, just some basic AC TIG welding for aluminum. You can see it's set for 135 amps. I'm gonna turn that down to 125 amps. I'm gonna be welding on some 1 8 inch thick aluminum. This arrow controls these functions and this is AC, straight and pulse, DC, straight and pulse, and then stick. So right now it's on uh, DC pulse. So let's go to AC. This is the pedal function. So 2T, 4T, and spot, the pedal or the finger switch. It has a spot weld or tack feature. We're gonna go with the top one, which is just 2T function. And then this is kind of hard to read with the lighting that I have, but we'll just go through it and you access that by pushing this button right here. So let's start over here at the beginning right here, which is the gas and this is pre-flow. You can't go less than 0.1. So we'll have, or you can go on up to, looks like five seconds, but we'll leave it at 0.1 for pre-flow. Starting amps, 25. I'm gonna back that down to 10. No upslope. 125 is the max amperage. That's the max amperage that the foot pedal will give us. 120 hertz. So this is the uh, AC frequency. We'll leave it on 120. It goes anywhere from 20 hertz Clear up to 250, I believe. Yeah, 20 to 250. We're gonna leave this on 120. And this is the AC balance. We'll turn it down to 35. Downslope, zero. We'll leave that on zero. The uh, stop amperage will be 10, same as the start and six seconds of, of post flow. Now this is where you select your tungsten diameter. We're gonna use 330 seconds tungsten, so we'll leave it on 2.4. And if you notice, this is all metric. 2.4 for the tungsten, and it just cleared on me, so let me go back through, and then back to uh, pre-flow. So there we should be setting. As you notice, I was setting this up and you don't hear the fan at all. That's a pretty cool feature. This just might be the best TIG welder machine for the money. If you're gonna use the pedal, this top light right there is for remote function. I think the machine defaults to the uh, button on the torch unless you program it in order to use the foot pedal. So. Instead of wasting gas, what I like to do before I turn the gas on is I'll turn the machine on like it is right now and then I'll depress the foot pedal and wait about three or four seconds and you'll see that top light turn red. And then once it turns red, then you can let off the pedal and now it's ready to weld using the foot pedal. It is sort of a pain to have to remember to do that but that's just one of the functions or the features of what, the way this machine is built. So I just make sure that I don't turn the gas on until after I do that. That way I don't waste a lot of gas. And then I'll reach up there and I'll turn the gas on and I'm ready to weld.
I'm curious to know what you think. Could this Yes Welder TIG 250P ACDC machine be the best TIG welder machine for the money? Well, what'd you think of the initial welds with the Yes Welder 250P ACDC machine? I thought they came out pretty nice. If you're in the market for a welder, you're looking for a TIG machine, and you're like me, you're just a beginner, or you always wanted to get into TIG welding, or maybe you just have more time on your hands with today's current status in the, in, in the, on the planet right now, and you want pick up a new hobby or something that you can do without being around a lot of people. I think you should have a serious look at the Yes Welder 250P TIG. Mid-November 2020 and December 31st, 2020, Yes Welder is going to be running that promotion with 15% off. Yes Welder 15 is the code that you want to use for that. And if you go Beyond the 31st, you could still use my code for 10% off, which is DIYHP 10%. Either way, you're going to get, it's about a $40 difference between the 10% off or the 15% off. But either way, you're going to get a whole lot of machine for the money, in my opinion. This particular machine, you get both AC and DC, so you can do almost all metals. It has the pulse feature, high frequency start, comes with a foot pedal. Machine's only 35 pounds and pretty small, so it can fit in a small shop. I have a pretty small area of the garage that I do my welding in, so it works out really nice having a lightweight, small, compact machine with all those capabilities. It's un unreal. Right now, 15% off, $638. I believe that includes free shipping. They have a three-year warranty on the machine, and they cover shipping both ways if you end up having a problem. I think the machine is definitely worth having a look at. I really like it so far. I've just done just a little bit of aluminum with it that you watched me do. I'll be making some videos here in the near future, exploring some of the other features. I want to go through all the stick functions, see how it stick welds. I want to check out the pulse and that spot feature. I think that'll be good for tack welding or any type of spot welding. If you've got a lot of tack welding to do, it might come in handy. I would be happy to answer any questions if I can. If you got questions about the machine or you want, want me to explain something a little better or look through something, feel free to give me a comment in the comment section and I'll uh, try to do my best to answer it if I can. So if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm going to put on the screen a couple other videos and maybe a playlist of other videos that I think you might enjoy. And... We'll see you on the next video.